Hi guys, this is Steve Darcy with Go Engineer, and today we're going to tackle support for configurations using eDrawings. So I'm going to quickly just go to uh, my model. So let's change the uh, display representation. And I have a very simple model, it's just a basic extrude, and I need to uh, add a configuration. So I'm going to make one called Cuts. And of course, we're going to add some geometry on here. and cut it. So we'll just go through all. So pretty simple. I have two configurations. I have a default configuration. If I double click and make that active, you can see there's no cuts. If I double click on the cuts, then that's the active. And all it's doing is suppressing and unsuppressing that last cuts feature. So nothing crazy there. Let's go ahead and save that. And I've saved this in a SolidWorks PDM professional vault. So you can see my file there. So I have a uh, data card, the version information contains where you used all that. And I also have the preview tab. So on the preview tab, notice that it only I only have access to the graphic of the last saved configuration. Um, I can kind of get to the metadata on the multiple configurations, uh, but I can't get to the uh, graphical data. So let's go fix that. We'll go back to SolidWorks, go to configuration tabs, just right click, say add display data mark for both configurations. And then of course, make sure you save it. All right, let's go ahead and uh, refresh the screen there. And whoop, let me pick on the file again. And now you'll notice that, um, again, I have access to the configurations here, but I also have them on the dropdown. So I can change them from one dis uh, configuration to the other. If you don't have the little dropdown, you can go to display options and show full UI and SolidWorks preview. Uh, if you don't like that preview uh, or the, the little window, you can right click and go to configurations and change it that way as well. Uh, if you want to see it inside of eDrawings itself, you can right click and just do view file. It'll pull up eDrawings and then we have access to the configurations down here in the bottom uh, right hand corner. So I can switch back and forth from one configuration to the other. So pretty simple. And that's pretty much it. So hope you enjoyed this little video. Hopefully you found that one little button that helped you get through uh, the accessing of configurations. If you did like the video, please hit the like button. And if you would, subscribe to our channel. That way you can find out cool use cases like uh, launching a website from your data card. In this case, I'm gonna launch the uh, Go Engineer technical support website. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and model on.